Hey, it's Mahesh again. We're back in... Uh, no, we're not. How many of these have you seen? <laughs> and we're in Austin, Texas. And this is Eric, beer brand man himself. And today we're going to hook him up with a little haircut, tidy up maintenance. I like the side part. I think that's pretty cool. And I like kind of the texture up yep. top. And then... Uh, I'm pretty flexible with how we blend it down or how we fade it down, okay. how short we go. But the big thing is like, I think it just, there's a bit of bulk. Bit of heaviness through here, yeah. Okay, Let's, uh, the thing is with the, the bulk on the back is you need to be really careful that you, you keep some and retain some weight there. Because what happens is, especially because you're, you've got a long neck, you don't want it to look basically the same length from here to the crown. Okay, because then it just looks really elongated. So yeah. we'll keep a little bit in there, but what I'll do is I'll keep the length, but I'll take the weight out so it'll feel lighter, but it will look different. Cool. And That's then cool. Uh, just kind of, I want to keep kind of like this scruff look, yep. but maybe just take this taper whole it. area. Yeah, just taper it down a little bit. Okay. All right. Ready? Let's do it. Hey, uh, Mahesh. Did, Hello. I, did I ever tell you about uh, my dad used to be a construction worker? No, you didn't. Yeah, I was uh, worried about him stealing from work. Yeah. And I remember that fateful day when I came home, walked into the garage, and that's when I saw the signs. Hey. <laughs> okay, let's go in with a one. We'll start off on the sides like we always do. So do you know the guys who own this establishment then, the League of Rebels, Eric? You know, I know Otto. Yeah. And uh, I bought a suit from, well, my wife bought me a suit here for our 10 year anniversary. And it's like a custom made or custom tailored or... Tailored. Yeah, tailored nice. to fit. So I, I came in here, picked the fabric, picked the cuts, I'm a, well, I'm, why have one? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a weird, I'm a weird shape, so I, str I struggle with stuff like that. Oh yeah. I got really short legs. Is that the Italian in you? That is the Italian in me. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's funny that you noticed that, isn't it, Eric? <laughs> Could you? Is it? Was it the way I ate my pasta? I think. Uh, you know, I don't know much about Italians other than their short legs. Yeah. And they're great lovers. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah, that, I've that, never been with an Italian. Haven't you? No. Oh, well, we can sort that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a service that I offer my exclusive customers. <laughs> That's why Carlos gets Dave to cut his hair now. <laughs> yeah, we've from Italian to proper British. Yeah. <laughs> the tips were too expensive, huh? <laughs> I put the whole lot in. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a, that's the outtaste one. <laughs> you need to get one of those, man. You must have loads. Mm. What? Here, Carlos has loads, or? Or outtake. I have outtake. Yeah, no, I have outtake. Apparently. Apparently, Mahesh has loads that he's given out. <laughs> what <Well>, outtakes? <laughs> no, loads. Or takeouts. <laughs> Do you know what a load is? No. What's a load? Is that an American thing? Must be. American. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Have I missed a pun? Yeah, yeah. Loads of them. He keeps using the word, but I don't know what it means. You know what I mean? It's an English word. Yeah, but if I say I'm going to load up my lorry... <laughs> What's a lorry? <laughs> lorry is a person who drives all the trucks in Britain. <laughs> no. Yeah, Laurie is the guy that drives all the trucks. No, we call trucks lorries. Yeah, because that's the word for it. Because they, there's this really big woman back in the early 1900s, and her name was Laurie. And, and when she when she walked backwards, she beat. <laughs> so what are you doing? So I'm blending in the two from a one 
And I'm not going to go too high on your hair, Eric, because I want to create this is a, a slightly lower taper for you. Because I, I really like this length on the top. Sometimes you can get you can get people to tattoo your hair on so it looks like morning hair. Yeah. But then that doesn't doesn't look so great in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I thought I was going to have... I, I, was, I was toying with having my glasses tattooed on my face so I could go swimming, but it doesn't work. No. Well, the thing is, it's really embarrassing when you go swimming with your children in the swimming pool and you're so short-sighted that you pick someone else's children up to take them out of the pool. That's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's embarrassing for the children, too. Yeah. Well, the, the judge, the judge thought so, well. too. <laughs> <laughs> could, get, could get you arrested. So, in here, this is the weight line that we've we've made by doing the blend. So this is the bit that, this is the area that uh, Eric's concerned about. So we're gonna go in, clip her over comb. My wife and your wife. Ah, the wives have arrived, Eric. So we're gonna take this line out and we're giving this a slight angle with the comb now because I want a little bit of direction to the way that the hair sits because the area where is this coming backwards this way so if you bring your comb in at a slight angle and tilt the head of the comb downwards that's the way you'll cut so you'll cut through the hair and the hair will always lay at a certain a certain angle for you so this is no different from if you were cutting with a scissors and you were cut and you picked up your hand and you held your hand that way this is exactly the same technique except you're just using the clipper I got a question. Hello. Uh, when you take the line out, are yeah. you uh, normally going Dutch or do you pay? Oh, I definitely pay. <laughs> <laughs> right. You should you should have downloaded ringtones yeah. of, of all the di all the different. You could have a hey, it's Carlos here from hey, Beerbrand as a as a text. Hey amigos. Hey amigos, you got a text message from Carlos Costa. What's up, internet? Here's there, your text message. There you go. See, brilliant. I'm like a genius. What's yours? Um, I can't say it. Okay, so we're just taking a little bit of this taper in on Eric's face as well, because I don't want to get a definite weight line between the haircut and the facial hair. Are you growing the moustache out, Eric? No, no, we can trim that. It looks good. I like I like the strong moustache look. Yeah, I, I mean I want the the distinctive moustache, yeah. but um, if we need to just maybe just a little maybe bit. just round it around, yeah. yeah so, so keep it long and big. <laughs> That's how you like it. <laughs> right, we're going to keep the side part in for you, Eric. Yeah. No. But I'm just going to take a little bit of weight out through here, and then we're going to take a bit of the weight out through the back. That, that you requested, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go in with the texturizers now and we're taking out a little bit of this weight through the back here, but it retains some of the length so it sits down nicely. Because what can happen is if you take too much of the weight out with the thin scissors and you go in too short, it ends up just sticking out. So you end up with one problem, you, know, you, you get rid of one and you create another one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in with these texturizers going through the ends of the hair. It'll make it feel nice and light, but it will also retain some shape. Because you can see Eric's neck's quite long through, through here. We don't want it to be the same length going all the way to the top of the crown. So I think I'm going to keep some of this, most of this length, Eric, if that's all right with you. Yeah. And we'll cut with the texturizers, okay? Happy with that? You do you, man. Okay. I'll just make it look good. You just wear it, don't you? Have we got any new products coming out this year that you want to plug while I'm cutting your hair? Yeah. I mean, let's give you, I'm giving you an opportunity now to use Beard Brand. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some good stuff. I think the biggest things are stuff coming back in stock. Well, that's kind of the thing is like you uh, run out of something then of course you start selling other products which to, to increases a, yeah. yeah increases the demand of the other ones and 
because people will go, well, if I can't have that, I'll have this one. Yeah. That's how I met my wife. There was uh, about 70 guys in this club down. and I turned them all down and I said, <laughs> might as well have me. Is that right? <laughs> what, I, what I actually did, I, I took her glasses off and I stood on them on the floor and then I told her I was really good looking. She was doing that, Eric. Oh, he's got a kind face. But I stood on a stool, so that what she said, she went, oh, he's got a really long nose. <laughs> his, his breath smells of shit. That's not his breath. <laughs> you can't use that bit. <laughs> so we want to leave the hairline quite natural at the bottom. But to make it look nice and smart and tidy, if you sharpen up the edges, but leave the bottom as a taper, that'll always keep it nice and clean and fresh. And it's something you can do at home as well if you've got a little pair of clippers. You can always get your other half or someone you know just to clean up this line. That oh, if you can't get it to the barber shop, that that makes a massive difference. You know, just tidying up the neck hair and keeping the the line clean. If you're going to go out and you can't get to the barber shop that weekend, get someone just to tidy up your neck hair and and the edges. Keep the hairline soft. I'm not going to cut a really sharp line into this because Eric wants it to be soft. Now a lot of guys come in and they want a really sharp line because they want it to look nice and neat and harsh. But Eric wants it to, to look natural. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come in at the same angle as the hair growth. I'm just going to come in with the mini clippers and I'm just going to come in and just taper this out slightly. So this is a tip for the beard. If you're growing your beard out and you're not sure whether to cut this bit because the beard's growing in and you think, well, I don't want to cut this because this is eventually going to be part of the beard. This is a good way of doing this. Get the barber, ask your barber just to keep it looking natural. Taper the hair and don't cut it all short. Okay, so we're going to go in with a one. I'm going to open the one. So this is a 1.5. And we're just going to gently go into the hairline. We're attaining the weight under the jaw because this creates shape as well. You can see the weight line through here because we've kept a little bit of heaviness through here. So you still got that contour, that shape into the face, but the hair here isn't coming down and looking too long because we've given that taper. So although the hair's there and it's natural looking, it doesn't look like you've got a beard starting here because we've got the weight line through here. So this is what's casting that shadow and creating the jaw. Now most, most people haven't got such a long neck, but um, I, I'm, part, I'm a part Italian. Eric's part giraffe. We're going to tidy the the moustache. So you're keeping it heavy, Eric, yes? Mm -hmm. But you just want to tidy it. So what we've talked about in the past in other videos, we talked about cutting this underneath section. So the, we re retain the length over the top and then tidy it up from underneath. So if you're doing this at home and you're tidying your own moustache, what I would suggest is that you take the section, the hair that's over the top to one side, and then you just tidy the under hair, underneath hair. That means you're not trying to cut through a whole thick moustache, because the hair is quite, if you've got quite a heavy moustache like Eric, it's quite, it's quite dense, and it's hard to actually cut through all that hair in one go. And you end up with loads and loads of graduation And we just tidied up his fanny tickler, as we call them. Don't we, Eric? Fannies, huh? Ah, oh, you see, fanny in America is different, isn't it? Other side. It's the, it's, the, it's the other bit, isn't it? Is that right? Whatever you fancy, <laughs> mate. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because in America, your fanny's your bum, isn't it? Yeah. Is that not? Yeah. No, in the UK, your fanny is your front bum. 
Ladies have two bums, don't they? Yeah, crack over. I will say, Eric. That smells good. That smells really good. I will say it? that the tea, the tea, tea tree smell is great. I love that. It's amazing. I like it on the sea salt spray. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. But on, on the oil, I like to use on the skin, but on the smells, no. My favourite tree ranger you just used. Oh, did I? I think so. <laughs> well, it yeah. might be. Oh shit! You're dead. We'll go back. We'll we'll, we'll go back. <laughs> no, but the sea salt spray, the the sea salt spray. I I really like that. Really, really like it. I think the texture we get in the haircuts for using it, brilliant. Okay. Now, what does this product do? Now, this is a styling balm. I'm going to use this on your hair. And I'm also going to use a little tiny bit on the tips of your moustache. Just the tip. Just the tip. That's all I'm allowed to use. When you put styling products in the hair, what a lot of people do is they put the, part, the product on their hand. The first thing they do is they put it straight into the front. And then they say, oh, it makes my hair greasy, or oh, it's too much product. But what you really should do is put the product in your hair and then do that, mess it up, and work, your way, work it all the way through the hair, and then break it up and style it and re restyle the hair. Because then you get a good coverage, even coverage of product then. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got, I've got, still got a little bit of product in my hand. I'm just gonna tweak it through the moustache. Okay, so. That's what it looks like. <laughs> All right, it's quite yeah. short. <laughs> All right, so see the weight that you had the issue with, which was all around here. I've taken all that weight out. Mm -hmm. All right, so you find it easier, and then give you a nice, really nice taper all the way back. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, happy. Okay. Very happy. Very happy. Beardbrain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.